Hey, what's going on? It's it's Monday. Um, I don't have my lunch ready, so I should go get it. Gosh, this is exciting. It's Monday and we have ham salad. Ham salad sandwich. I can't wait to bite into this. It get, kind of gets messy, so you better watch out. I've got some yogurt and some carrots and some grapes. So today we're we're thinking a little bit of healthy food if ham salad sandwiches are healthy. But I got carrots. I have a question. What is ham salad? Ground up ham. Like in the butcher shop, they have like the residual ham. I'm sure it's high quality ham. Mm. And they mix it with probably some sort of mayonnaise or white saucy stuff. They might put some relish in there. I hope they didn't put any onions in there. And they mix it up and they put it in a like a quart container and you can buy it from the deli. And you can put it on crackers, maybe with a piece of pepperoni or a pickle. I, see. I like that. <laughs> it's Monday, we got lunch, I got some water and some some good food here. I'm ready to go for the week. Well, it's week two. There's lots of things going on, so let's get into it. Yesterday, it was Sunday that had the Houston Minimum Competitive Concept for the Minimum Competitive Competition. I was watching some of the Twitch feed, and it was kind of there was kind of some funny stuff happening. There was this little black robot driving around, and the and the every bot was driving around. It was probably the most productive robot out of the crew. You can tell there's a lot of robots there. They weren't all 100, percent and that's perfectly to be understood because it's week one of build season. I think Nick might have some more information about how that event went so he can tell you what he liked, what he didn't like. Um, hey Nick, how did it go? Over the weekend I was watching some of the week negative six event held in Houston hosted by 118. Uh, there were a few things that I noticed. Number one, game pieces are a lot harder to retrieve from the loading stations than I think a lot of people are thinking and as a result there seemed to be at least in some of the matches they played, there were a, a number of hatch panels that were sitting just in front of the loading station because the robot would try to retrieve it, it wouldn't quite get it, and it would drop it on the ground. It kind of reminds me similar of how many gears we saw in front of the loading stations in 2017. Teams who put effort into a ground pickup might be at an advantage because there's probably going to be, at least early in the season, there's probably going to be hatch panels on the floor. Scoring hatch panels is really hard, even with the bumper cutouts that are the same at the loading station that they are on the, the cargo ship. Still saw a few dropped panels there. Kind of a similarity there, drop panels where they are, where they enter the robots and drop panels where they leave the robots. Common theme there, same with the gears we saw in 2017. So I really think that floor pickup is gonna be an advantage early on um, if you can get it down pat. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you can say, Nick? <laughs> as far as defense, uh, we saw a little bit of rocket defense tried out and it's extremely effective. Um, just simply parking your robot in front of one of your opponent's rockets, really, 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 breaks their mojo and slows down their cycle times. As people get practice with their robots and practice the switching to another rocket, we'll probably see this become less effective, but really early on, it was surprising how effective just simple positional defense was in front of the rockets. So this coming weekend, another group of teams, Robot in Three Days teams and other teams are gonna to get together and do the same thing. They're going to try to play through some of the motions of Destination Deep Space, which is kind of cool. So we'll be looking forward to see how that turns out, um, which is taking place this weekend at Kettering University. Thanks, Andy. Back to you. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> we hear there's been some questions regarding the Neo Motors from, from Rev and how they fit into different types of gearboxes. I'm here to tell you, they only fit with Andy Mark gearboxes. <laughs> That's the only gearboxes that are out there that would accept the Neo. Yeah, okay, okay, they, they'd fit into lots of gearboxes. If the Sim motor fits into that gearbox, so does the Neo. Any mark gearboxes and other types of gearboxes that are out on the market, they will fit a Neo gearbox if they also are sized for a Sim motor. If it fits, it sits. We're having too much fun, I'm sorry. I, I like seeing some of the videos put up on the internet, so I, I see a couple of them out there. There's a really novel video of a uh, Rover Ruckus lander strapped or bolted to the top of an FRC kit chassis. It's kind of like, um, you know, maybe peanut butter and chocolate mis mixed together. It kind of includes the FTC and FRC world. So check out 5568, FRC 5568, put that together. That's pretty cool. 
Also, I saw a video of the engineers from Michigan, 2337, pretty much ramping up onto HAB 1 and going right straight onto HAB 2. I wonder how many times it took them to like get that right, but they, they didn't have that much speed. They only started about 10 feet away from HAB 1. So I think we might see that a lot happen this year. If teams are pretty fast, they can launch themselves like like the Dukes of Hazard on to HAB 2. That would be pretty cool. There's a lot of Robot in 3 Days videos coming out still. The one team that had a ramp bot, so they committed to a ramp bot, getting on HAB 1 and having a ramp to go to let their partner go up to HAB 3 is Tesla Robotics. So they have a way to show you how to utilize a ramp to get on HAB 3. So good for them for putting that out there. Also, we saw a really cool video. Well, I don't know if that's cool, but really, maybe this young lady was frustrated. Maybe she was doing some destructive testing of our products. She was really putting her effort into hammering out her frustration onto an HD pneumatic wheel hub. And the hub seems to hold up to her frustration. So good job to her for uh, letting, it ha letting it go onto that hub. FRC Team 4816, the, the Gadget Girls. Good job, Gadget Girls. Keep those videos coming. So check out Friday's episode to get the launch code for your 5% discount on motors this week. Where is your team progressing through the build season? How are you guys doing? Let us know. Tweet at us. Send us, send us a comment on YouTube, on this channel, and just let us know how you're doing. To answer your question, really, you should be close to driving. You should be driving early this week. Don't wait till this weekend to drive. Get something moving. Like I always say, break things early. The sooner you break it, the better you can fix it and iterate and break it again and fix it again. So get things moving so you can break things and make them better. We will see you on Wednesday. We'll have some pizza for you and have a good week. Be safe. Liz, do you want a bite of my sandwich? I'm okay.